Hi everyone and welcome to this presentation. My name is Jared Beeman and I'm going to be walking you through how to set up the formwork placing tools um, with the configuration files and the manufacturer specific um, components and items in 2017i. So this will be a three step process. First step is downloading the tool itself. And this is going to be a TSEP file that's going to be installed into your applications and components catalog. You can find a details page with instructions and then in our version section is where we're going to make our first download for the tool itself. This 2.0 version is for 2017i. So we'll download this into our model and once we do so, if you open up your model, once you restart it after the download, we'll see all the applications that it downloaded. And if we pull up the formwork panel tool, You'll notice that if you go to any of the drop downs, there's nothing available. What's going to give information into these drop downs is the configuration files. So that's what we are going to do next. And we're going to go right back to the same place we were at, at our formwork placing tools. And in the version section, you can see the example formwork system configuration files. In 2.0, we've added in a whaler option that Doka has added components and parts into. If you're wanting to use Perry, you can download an earlier configuration file and it will work just the same as it did in the previous versions. And so once we install this configuration folder titled Formwork Tools, we're going to extract this into our model folder. And let's open up the Formwork Tools folder and check out what we've downloaded. There's going to be CSV files that are going to give instructions for the placements and available panel shapes, as well as files for setting up your conditions for placing your panels. And one thing we'll need to do in this folder is copy over the standard attribute. So now we'll have a standard option in our drop down, which will fill in all of our settings in that formwork placing tools dialog. If we wanted to use configuration files for Perry, we'll go download 1.0. And we can just copy over the Perry specific information into that Formwork Tools folder that we downloaded. So after we have the tool, we have the configuration files, the next step is getting the manufacturer specific objects. Right now we have Doka and Perry available. And don't forget, you can also plug your own systems into the Formwork Placing Tools by creating your own CSV files. Once we download Doka or Perry, we'll see all of their custom components available in the Applications and Components catalog. The XML files are organizing how those are presented in the Applications and Components catalog. And these components use a lot of their items in the Shape catalog. And if we were to just download that folder, we'd see some DAT files that contain um, information about its products. There's a user defined attributes definitions inside that objects.imp folder. You can open up their document and get further instructions on what to do with this information. There's four report files where we can generate reports from our DOCA information. These TSC files are the shapes that are imported into your um, shape catalog as an item. The UEL files are the custom components, and then the XML files control how those components are organized in the Applications and Components catalog. So of the two available in the warehouse, we've got Doka. We'll go download Perry Trio as well. We go through the same process. We just insert that into our model. Once we insert that download into our model, we're going to have all of the DAT files that work with the, their custom components. The IMP files will define their unique UDAs. If we want to copy this into our model folder, and it might already have an IMP file there, we can name it underscore Perry. So now we can have multiple IMP files in the same folder. You can place that in your firm or your model folder. The PDF will contain information for these files. TSC files are items in the shape catalog. Our UAL files are the Perry Custom Components, 
and the XML organizes those custom components in the Applications and Components catalog. Our last step would be to set up a model template so we have all of those custom components and shapes ready to go if we're going to start modeling those formwork systems. So in this example, I'm going to set up a model template that already has all this information ready to go so I can just create a new model and start using all of their systems. So once we create this, um, important thing is making sure we select those subfolders so we have their um, components, their component dialogs, and all of their shapes ready to go in our model template. So once I hit OK, it's going to save that into our model template directory folder and you can pull up your advanced options to check where that's at. Um, I also placed a thumbnail.jpg file so this will just be the image of my model template when I start a new model and we can see that there. We're at the new model um, creation screen so I'm going to select that as my model template and I will assign it a name. I go over to the component catalog and I see I have my Doka catalog and Perry catalog. And if I pull up my item and check out my shape catalog, I can see I have all of my Doka and Perry shapes available to use. Thank you for watching. If you still have any questions, please post a comment below or reach out to your local Tecla support team.